Welcome back to the next episode of getting Brandy's little home office set up. Forbes came over to decided to help today. We're going to get the sheetrock in. Like 99% of the sheetrock done today. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the roof, the ceiling might get a little tricky just because of the vaulted ceilings. And like some of the beams and stuff we got to go around. But it shouldn't be too bad. We're not going to, or not insulate, I've been saying that all day. We're not going to sheetrock past the lofts because this is all going to be covered. Whatever scraps I have left, just kind of piece together and make it work. So we're not going to do that one or that one just because right now anyways, it's a waste of material, waste of time. That's something that I can do way later. We just need to get the finished product. So Brandy can move into her office. So we're going to get sheetrock up, tape and mud it. And then this weekend we should be painting and then I don't know if we're going to do flooring or get Brandy's office in there first and then worry about flooring before winter, but either way, we're going to sheetrock, so I will set you guys up on the GoPro and we'll get right after it. It's actually the next day. I know I said I was going to finish up last night, but I ended up working on it until like a quarter to 10 last night and didn't get it done because like an idiot, every single piece had to have a cut except for one. Uh, yeah, one whole piece didn't have to have a cut. And that's one ceiling piece right here didn't need to be cut. And it was a ceiling, so it was a pain in the butt to put on anyways. But, but we've got 99% sheet rocked. Like I said, we're not doing up there. We might end up putting scraps up there. Same with up top there. So all I have to do is finish out this wall, which I have a ton of scrap that I'm gonna burn up instead of cutting a full sheet there, just because, it's a big mosquito, sorry. Just because I have a lot of scrap and I want to use it up. And that wall is going to need a lot of cuts on it. So I figured what better spot to use the scrap for it. I worked at 6 a.m. this morning. So didn't want to work past 10 o'clock last night. So we called it quits at 10 o'clock. But like I said, we got 90, 99% of it done here. There's some pretty big gaps. Nothing really over a half an inch, I would say. But that's because, well, nothing's perfectly square in here. And we didn't have a sheetrock left to do the ceiling, so that one's definitely going to need some, some mud work done to it. But, we're getting... Oh my gosh, the leg spell. We haven't decided what we're going to do under here. If we're going to put... We have a full sheet of sheetrock left. We might set it in there. Because it's this is 4x10. That's 4x8. And we have all the extra scraps, so we might end up putting it in there. Otherwise, we haven't really decided. It might just be a fancy panel that goes in there. I don't really know, but we're almost done. So I'm going to get this wall finished. Uh, I'm not even going to hook up the GoPro or set up the GoPro. I ended up dying last night and I was just kind of in the moment. Didn't go grab more batteries. Didn't even start recording. So finish up these last little bits of sheetrock that I need to get done. Tape it, tape it mud, and then, you know, we'll go from there, I guess. We'll see. See how far we decide to get today. I'm, I'm also very much in a want to spend time with my family mood. So we'll see how much we get done. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm tired. I'm really tired. It was, ugh, I worked hard yesterday and got up early. So super fun. But keep on keeping on. Let's uh, cut to the chase here and bring you right over to the finished sheetrock. Well, 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 there it is. We got everything mudded, everything taped, all the sheetrock in that we're gonna do for now. This, we have enough to finish that, but like I said before, I don't think we're going to. It's just, 
extra work that doesn't need to be done right now. If it is getting sheet rocked, it's not gonna be taped and mudded. It's just gonna be the rest of that. We have another full four by eight sheet in there, but we don't wanna cut that all up to use it up there quite yet because we might need it for something else and we don't wanna go get stuff. This is kind of, we're doing this on a budget. We're trying to be budget-minded here when we're doing this. Um, as you can see, like a lot of the mud's still wet. So I didn't get to sanding it today. We had a bunch of stuff going on. We were all over the place. I didn't even get to mow my yard. Just busy, really, really busy. Not enough time in the day. We need 28 hours in a day, not 24. But it's mudded, it's ready. I can sand it all tomorrow in a matter of probably two hours after work. So I'm not super, super, super concerned about getting it sanded. It's done. Brandy's gonna pick out her colors. She's gonna figure out what she wants to do under here. We're kind of thinking a lattice that'll go all the way across. And the like vines coming down, hanging through it. We'll put lights in there, like the old Edison style light bulbs coming through there, LEDs, because the actual Edison ones get really, really hot. We have a lamp inside and it gets hot. It would melt that stuff and catch on fire. But we think that would look cool over there because then we'll have bookshelves on each side. The fireplace built in there be built-in bookshelves, all that. Kind of the dark sitting area over here. So she's gonna figure out that. Colors are the big one that go with the furniture and she wants to do like a birch wood look on the inside with white. So she can't figure out what she wants to do for colors. We gotta do, um, we're gonna box these in. There's two of them, support beams. We're gonna box those in for actual like aesthetic looking beams. They gotta be out. We might as well make them look good. And then, yeah, it's paint, floor, uh, paint trim, paint floor trim. And then really we're ready to go. We are start building our office and getting stuff moved in. Flooring is a day, paint is a day. Well, two days cause of coats, but whatever. I'm not worried about that. Trim is a day. Um, and then we just got the finishing touches. Like we're gonna do trim up here because there is a, about a one inch, two inch gap there. So we're gonna do trim to cover that up. But behind that, we're gonna do thin little LED lights and project light up the ceiling. Just as kind of a cool accent light and then you can change your colors or whatever. It's just gonna be cool, okay? It's gonna be cool, trust me on this one. But that's all we're doing for today. I am gonna sand it. Not gonna show you guys that's Boring. Nobody wants to watch me sand. Nobody wanted to watch me mud. Nobody probably even wanted to watch me put sheet rock or insulation in, but you did. So that's all we got going on for this. As of right now, it's Sunday night. We're gonna go inside and eat dinner. We got Hockey Mom's brownies. I'm gonna eat probably all of them tonight. We'll get back to you when we are doing the next phase, which should be painting, painting and flooring next weekend. That's that's the hope. That is the hope behind it. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see the next part that's coming out, so you can see when this thing's finished. You can get the notifications as the videos come out. You can see this thing in its glory from studs to finished, looking beautiful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.